In this video, we are going to learn how to create a gauge chart or sometimes called speedometer chart in Tableau. Speedometer is a half-circled donut chart which is usually used to visually show important key performance indicators or KPIs in an attractive way inside a dashboard. Unfortunately, Tableau doesn't provide a direct tool for creating a gauge chart like in Power BI. But by the end of this video, you'll know all the steps to create such a beautiful chart. Let's get started. First of all, we will import our data into Tableau. Our data is stored in a CSV file which you can download from the link provided in this video description down below. Then, we go to Tableau. On the left side we will click on text file. Browse for our file location. Then press open. Here is our data imported successfully and we are to create our chart. To create our speedometer, we need to draw a donut chart first. This can be done through creating two pie charts having the same center in one of them inside the other. Then we change the inner one color as the background one. Then our donut is divided into five slices as shown. In order to obtain our half circle speedometer, we change slice 5 color as that of our background. We choose one color for both slices 1 and 3, and another one for 2 and 4. For our case study, we need to make our speedometer for a KPI called gross profit margin, which is the sum of the profit column, divided by sum of sales column multiplied by 100 to obtain it as a percentage. Based on that, our KPI range is between minus 100 to 100 with 0 in the middle. So, we will create five calculated fields in Tableau, with the following formula for each slice. For slice 1, if our margin is smaller than 0, slice 1 will be 100 minus our KPI. If it is 0 or larger, then it will be 100 as a maximum value. For slice 2, it is the complementary part of slice 1 which form the total left quarter of our half donut. So, if KPI is negative, it will be 100 minus slice 1 value which is the margin times negative 1. If it's 0 or positive so, slice 2 is 0. Slice 3 will be somehow similar to slice 1. If our KPI is positive, then it will be that value as it is. For slice 4, as slice 2, it will be the complementary part of slice 3. So, it will be 100 minus our profit margin. But if our margin is not positive, whether it is zero or negative, it will be 100 as a maximum value. And finally, slice 5 will always have the value of 200 to always occupy the bottom half of our whole donut. Now, let's go to Tableau to apply what we have just learned. Here we are in Tableau. We will start by creating a calculated field for our KPI. On the left side, we see a small arrow pointing downwards. We click on it and choose the first option, Create Calculated Field. Then, we name it, Gross Profit Margin, and enter its formula. Total Profit divided by Total Sales multiplied by 100. And press OK. We'll repeat this for each slice and enter the formulas mentioned in Step 2. After that, we will create our donut. Go to the rows field. Double click on the empty space and enter zero. Repeat it once more. From the view drop down, choose entire view and convert all charts to pie. To make both pies with the same center, go to one of the rows. Right click and press dual axis. After that, go to the first pie and increase its size. Then, go to the other. Remove measure names field. And change its color to white as our background. 
and here is our donut. Finally, you're one step away to finish. Go to the larger pie, drag the measure values into size. Remove all values except for our five slices. Then, we need to rearrange our slices. Tableau by default starts the first slice at 12 o'clock moving clockwise. Therefore, we need to begin with slice 3 and 4, then 5, and lastly 1 and 2. And in order to adjust our slices colors, go to the larger pie and press on color field and choose edit colors. We will change slice 5 color into white and choose blue for 1 and 3 and gray for 2 and 4. Drag the gross profit margin value into text field of our smaller pie. Then go to the text field and adjust its font formats. You can also change its number formats by going to our KPI. Right click on it and choose format. From here choose custom number. We will set its decimal places to 2 and put the percentage sign as a suffix. We can pull the region to the filter area. Then, right click, and press show filter. And you can filter by region. Congratulations on creating your gauge chart. If you find this video useful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons to encourage us. See you in another video.